Hey everyone, this is Rajendran here and uh, this time we're going to come up with yet another very interesting uh, tool, OpenAlgo Terminal, which you can uh, run this application in your uh, Android and iOS devices, right? I'm going to tell, explain, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how the OpenAlgo Terminal works. So first thing is like you have to host your OpenAlgo probably in your LAN network or probably can host it in your own uh, private server with a public IP or something like that. And uh, you have to get your uh, host URL. So in my case, I'm already having the host URL. I'm gonna key in the host URL, WebSocket URL, and the OpenAlgo API key, which is obviously connected to your broker. You already log in into your uh, OpenAlgo terminal. So I'm gonna enter those details. I'm gonna enter, I hosted my account in demo.openalgo.in. So here is my WebSocket. And finally, I also paste my API key as well. So once I paste the API key, I'm going to go and uh, connect to the OpenAlgo terminal. Now you can see that immediately you can see the watch list is getting loaded. And uh, I'm also going to go and uh, add some of the symbols as well. So I, let's say I'm going to type nifty 26,000 call option. Right? That's what I'm going to say. I got 26,000 call option for 16 December. I'm gonna save it and uh, which I can see it instantly in the watch list. I can go and get the market depth as well. So I can go and get the market depth, right? I can go back and uh, I can go and uh, say, let's say I want to buy this. I can go and click on buy. It'll be in multiples of lot size if it is F and O. I select the quantity and I select the order type and let's say like order type, I'll keep it as like an RML and then I'm going to place the order, right? Of course, right now markets are closed. Right now I'm in sandbox mode. So if in case if you want in a live mode as well, you can always go to the settings and you can change, you can toggle it from live mode to sandbox mode. You can toggle it, right? Or if you want to toggle it back to live mode, you can toggle it back again, right? So it's up to you like how you want. And the best part is uh, you can go and check the API status. So you can check all the endpoints, all the checkpoints are working or not. You can go back and check all those things, right? And uh, you can also switch between dark mode. Right now, the dark mode is not fully configured, but we have some basic dark mode over there, right? And uh, you can also check your uh, order book positions and uh, trades and holdings. If in case, if there's any holdings, you can go and check those holdings as well. And uh, so all those things you'll be able to do this provided you are having your own uh, uh, open algo hosted in your own uh, desktop or maybe it can be even in your own uh, uh, private server, right? So that way, now this, the, the greatest advantage is like this is one single mobile app terminal which is integrated. You can connect with any of your uh, 25 plus supported open algo supported brokers. Now, what is the important point here is the entire thing is open source and now you can design your own private trading terminal. Uh, you don't need to uh, wait for brokers to build features. So if you know Flutter, if you know AI tools, uh, you are using ChatGPT or Cloud, you can modify the code the way you want and you can make use of it that and that will be completely compatible with 25 plus brokers. So you should ensure that you're building on top of OpenAlgo APIs. You, are in, you ensure that you build on top of OpenAlgo WebSockets. So that's the max and you can customize the trading terminal the way you want. Right now it is pretty basic, but uh, if you're really a good developer, you know what to build, right? So see you in an another session. And I mean, I'll, I'll try to provide in the comment section, I'll try to provide the GitHub link uh, try it out, right? You can go and uh, uh, compile it in your uh, iOS. You try to compile it in your uh, Android and try to make the most out of it. Thank you.